Okay, here's a continuation from the lifter. So I checked out the transformer. Transformer turned out okay. The voltage multiplier, all the capacitors, they checked out. I tested them. It's one of the diodes that blew out. So I have to check every diode and replace whichever one blew out. Okay, so I reset the wire at 8 inches. And I'm using another 8-stage voltage multiplier I have on this one. And this one is connected to stage number 7. And this time I made sure I connected both 12-volt batteries to give me 24 volts. Because I over-voltage the last time. So now you can see this one lift up. This one has more thrust. This one's set, like I said, eight inches. So that's 200,000 volts. It's not tethered. And of course the wires are not tight. So that's why you got to see that arc right there. a lot of power right there and this one also can support weight it's kind of hard to because I don't have my tripod so I'm actually holding the camera and what I notice is the higher the voltage I can't just connect the wire because I'll actually get shocked so I'm actually holding them with a pair of pliers with rubber grips so I don't get shocked but you know let's see what happens if I put this ruler on it it may not lift I don't know I tried it with wood and it does lift up just like the last one with wood but we'll see what happens okay lifts up with the ruler too See where it's a little offset. Let's see. Off balance. Yeah, I'm not concerned with stability on ion lifters because I've said before I already figured out how to get stability control. It's just how to maximize as much thrust as possible. Let's see again. All right, I'm just gonna turn it on, and see it shoot up. Well, that's it for now. Okay, later.